<laughs> Yo, I'm serious. I'm serious about it. No, I'm not joking. Yeah, I'm not even saying words. Oh, babe, who just called you? Who else? Benjamin. I don't know why he doesn't want to let me be. Well, it's actually very obvious. I mean, you're an angel and nobody wants to lose his um, angel. Well, it's late now. Okay? He's just wasting his time because I have moved on to a better man. <laughs> Which brings me to a question. Um, sincerely, tell me the truth. Am I the reason you don't want him no more? Well, after he did all he did to me, I... I didn't intend to accept him back. Yes, no matter what. But when you came into my life, you wiped away all the memories and thoughts of him in my head. Okay. And right now, baby boy, you are the only one I think about. You and you alone. <laughs> well, this is the part where I get to blush, right? Yeah, you're allowed to <laughs> blush, but don't cover your handsome face. <laughs> okay, all right. You know, the thing is that, you know, with you has always been one kind of journey that... <coughs> You want water? Let me get you water. No, 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 no. My inhaler is on the floor. Use the inhaler. Yeah. See, I have been through tough times, but you came in and changed everything. I have been bitten by the sun, the rain, but your love came in like an umbrella to shade me. The shade you gave me has given me soccer in life and hope. I have been through drowning in agony, in fear, in tears. But you brought me to the shores of hope, happiness, joy, and futuristic goals. Now here's my question. Will you bring all those compassion and love to be with me under one roof? Will you marry me? Please. <laughs> yes, I'll marry you. <laughs> Hey. Uh, yeah, very well noted. Oh, okay then. Um, hey, hi, Tony. Hi. hi. Hello. I will call you back shortly. Yeah. Sarah, you are just coming to work by this time. You're late, girl. Is that how to say good morning to the latest bride in town? No way. No, no bloody way. <laughs> he proposed? 
in a unique way and I said yes <laughs> oh my god oh my god this is beautiful I know <laughs> oh, oh my god oh, oh, unbelievable <laughs> so who is going to be your chief bridesmaid me of course no no wait a minute did I just hear you say no? Okay, who then? <sighs> My best friend. Wow. <laughs> My best friend has another best friend. Wow. So you now have another you call her a best friend? Yes, I have just one best friend. And her name is... Tell... Tell... Tonya! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you just cut it off. Just stop. Like, seriously, you got me there. You, you actually did got me. But girl, what were you thinking? I'd rather call off the wedding than have another be my best friend. I mean, uh, you're a great friend. I can never wish for another. Oh, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> so sweet of you. Oh my god. And listen to me. I can never trade you for another. Alright? Listen, today is not about our friendship. Come on, it's about your proposal. You are about to be a wife! Yes! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bright to be! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> we need to talk about something. something. Yeah. Shall we no, no, no. You need to give me the full story, like the news in detail. How, how did you propose? How, how did you propose to you? I'll do all the telling in my office. We'll talk and drink. Let's go. I feel like you. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is good news. Oh, I'm coming. I can't take it anymore. This is man's inhumanity to another man. Why would you humiliate my husband to be like that? This is the third time and it's no longer funny. It's not. Jesus. So you not talk back at me? Can't you see what that lunatic has done to you? Oh, Father, please. Don't even go there. Don't change the topic. You know that AGK has nothing to do with this. AGK has nothing to do with this. And so what? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? How could you be defending that low life that doesn't know when to take a bow? Right? Someone that is not needed in this family. Why can't he quit? How can he be coming here knowing fully well that he's not well? Oh, shut up and stay out of this. I wasn't talking to you. Look who is talking. If AGK is a low life, what would you call yourself? Are you comparing AGK and I? Ah, Ebuka. A Luciana Fuaya. Hey, you better take again. Oh, please, don't be deceived. Comparing you to AGK would be a slap on his face. And I will not do that. Shut up. Jesus. Did I waste my money to train you only for you to end up with a pauper? Father, he is not a pauper. He is hardworking. He earns an honest living. Unlike some people that has been spoon-fed from infants to adulthood. Rubbish. Are you referring to me? Whatever your small mind tells you. Enough of this. Enough. What are you ranting for? That I poured AGK a glass of juice? Let me tell you, if I ever see him in this compound again, I will shoot him and hand his corpse over to the police. You will do no such thing, Father. I love him and I will get married to him. And no one will stop me. And please don't stay over your dead body because you're not ready to become orphans yet. Excuse me. Move!
Father. It's a very mean thing to say. It's the truth, Father. You mean, after all this time, you still blame your mother for her death? Yes. Yes, I blame her. You want her not to keep that pregnancy. Even the doctor advised her against it, but she refused. She said over her dead body. At the end of the day, she died. She died making you a widower and saddling me with younger ones to take care of. At age 12, when I needed someone, a mother, to take care of me. And you think? Because of that boy you want to get married to, you had to bring it up again to force me into giving you my blessing. I love him, Father. I love him. All I ask is for you to bless our union. Please. Please, Father, bless our union and I promise you will never regret it. I can't! She said I can't. Father, all my life I have done everything you asked me to do. I have obeyed you. I didn't read medicine and surgery because he asked me not to. I remained a Catholic because you forbade me from leaving the Catholic Church. I didn't date Ibanga 18 because you said he was from another tribe. Father, I obeyed you even though it broke my heart, but I obeyed you. I have done everything you asked me to do. I am just asking you for... Just this one. Just this one. Father, please do it for me. I love him. He is the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. Please, Father, I beg you with everything you hold dear. Please, Father. Please. And how are you? And Ibuka, what are you doing in my office? What else? Other than to see your beautiful face. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Listen, if you don't have anything serious to say to me, please leave. As you can see, I've got work loads to attend to right now. Hey, welcome. Uh, Excuse me. I know you want me as much as I do. Yes, so stop being here strong and comply. Eh? And stop gassing yourself up, young man. Comply to what exactly? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Wait! <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> Listen, I'm being very serious right now. I need you to leave my office at once and do not 
for the sake of your own life. Try this again. Do you hear that? Leave my office now. Leave! Have you forgotten who you're talking to? Oh, really? I know I'm talking to Ebuka. Son of Chief Ezugu, who does not know when he oversteps his boundaries. For God's sake, can you leave my office right now? I need you to leave my office. Hey, hey, I'm done, okay? Well, um, in case you've forgotten, I am a booker. The very handsome guy that no lady receives. Oh, yeah. And you've got one right before you. Excuse you! question and I'm still waiting for an answer. Um, Father, the truth is that they have blown this issue out of proportion. Huh? I was just trying to correct her, that's all. And what was her offense, if I may ask? Well, um, She did not do her job. Rather, she was busy having a nice time on phone with her boyfriend. And that did not go down well with me, so I have to take it personal with her. So you decided to pin her against the wall and was trying to rape her? Mm -hmm. Father, I did not rape her. I wasn't even trying to rape her. Eh? Like I said, they have blown this issue out of proportion with their words to you. And most of their words are lies. Eh? How, how would I rape someone in my father's company? How is that possible? You have tested my patience far too long. And I will no longer let it slide. You are hereby suspended indefinitely as head of human resources. Father, isn't this too, too, too harsh? Isn't this too, too much? Eh? What, what, what did I do? What did I do, eh? I was just trying to correct and uh, punish an erring staff and you are suspending me. Sexual assault is a punishable crime. And I would have handed you over to the law enforcement agency. But for Tonya, who pleaded on your behalf. But let me warn you, if I ever see you one inch close to that lady, you will know whom your father is. Now get out of my sight. Whatever, this is too harsh. This is not nice. This is not nice at all. Eh? Why will you listen to her? So you're believing the words of a stranger rather than your own son, right? Okay. 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 Suspension. Okay. Problem. Get out of my sight. Silly One day, how could your father be that man? Huh? Why would he suspend you over this? Why? Okay, see me. Huh? Go. 
He always takes it personal anytime he sees me with that girl. And to that, I'm beginning to suspect him. I think he is having a thing with that girl. That only explains the girl's insolence towards me. See, I share in that idea. Uh, it's clear now, it's clear. This is why she has been rejecting you and insulting you. Eh? Uh, it's obvious. She has been sharing beds with your father. Yes. To think that my father would punish me because of his mistress is so disheartening to say the least. And I won't allow that slide. I will never allow that slide. So what do you want to do now? If my father can suspend me from the company because of his mistress, then my inheritance is at stake. Just now. I'm not yes. going to keep quiet. I must do something. I must do something. And that will be very fast. Uh, well, um, Ibuka, I don't know what you have on your mind. But you have to be very careful. You know your father can be very smart. You understand? You know. Yes. He won't see it coming. Okay. It's time to take over. Omo ba Luciana afwaya. Oke mo na joka. Ebuko dogu. You see, I am solidly behind you. One ne. If I go outside and wait. Thank you, sir. Why must it be him? We can't find another? Father, we should be happy that he came up with such a brilliant idea within a short period of time. Why should we find another? Because I'm not comfortable with him. I'm not. Father, why are you not comfortable with him? We are lucky to find Okechuku's replacement without stress. Chizera, I hope this is not a ploy to bring him closer to the family. Because it won't work. You have failed. Father, whether you like it or not, he is already close to the family. He's my husband-to-be. Listen, Father. This is a federal government contract we are talking about here. Don't risk it all because of sentiment. I just, I just hope it works out. I hope. Father, have I failed you before? Trust me on this. I know what I'm doing. Okay. Let's go.
see what I told you. AGK here is the best. Ha! Ah, such a wonderful performance. <laughs> Chizara, this is just the first part of everything. Nothing has been done. But Father, you don't need a suitor to tell you that we are going to win the contract. I mean, the minister was all smiles. Well, let's wait it then. But if I will advise you, please concentrate on your driving. Father, I'm driving. Do you feel? Darling, like I said, I'm alive. How's your father? How is he cooking? Honey? Honey? I'm afraid he's not coping well. Well, what do you mean? My father is in coma. What? Coma? Oh my God. Coma? <laughs> Let me go and see him. Ah! Please, please, ah! please, please don't go. That's... No, I no, no, you, you have to be strong first. No, you have no, to be strong, please. No, I have to see him. No, no, you can't no, even walk no. properly. Please, you have to be strong first. Uh, Kuma. They were here earlier, but you were sleeping. They went to see my father. It's okay. I mean, it's all right. Everything will be fine, okay? Everything will be fine, please. All right? Okay. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Huh? A grown man seated in his father-in-law's house doing nothing. And you do not even have the pride to contribute anything financially. I'd like to remind the person who asked me this question that I am here because I simply respect the wishes of my late father in law. Now let me ricochet that question back at this person. You. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? What? Aren't you grown enough to have your own woman? Have your own wife? Aren't you ashamed? Hey, 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 shut up. Look at this old fool telling me what to do. Who are you? Who are you to walk into my father's house and tell me what to do? Eh? 
How is that your business? My business is I've had enough, okay? I've had it to hear. I've had enough. Enough, Ebuka. Enough. What is it? I will not take your insults anymore, all right? I've had enough. Nonsense. Yes, nonsense. You have not seen anything yet. You are in my father's house. Go to your father's house if you want me to respect you. Did you hear what I said? I will kick you out of this house. Even your wife will not stop me. Well, I'll tell you I've seen toothless bulldogs, but we all with dreadlocks right now. Oh, really? Yes, really. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. I will show you. Nga wage na mu aba Luciana for aya. Mo una e joke. I will show you. You must leave my father's house whether you like it or not. You must leave my father's house. If you don't want to leave my father's house alive, I will take you out dead. I've said it and you heard me loud and clear. Brother, I've had it up here. I am tired. I am sick and tired of his uh, vapid behaviors. I hate that idiot with passion. I hate him. Speaking without actions make no sense to me. Yes. How do you mean? Ebuka, back up your anger with actions. Back up your anger with actions. See, it's time to take over, one day. Take over. Eh? You are the man of the house, and not the one that eats the leftovers. You have to open your eyes. I, I always... Hey, 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 it's okay. So what do you have me do? Answer me, what do you have me do? Eh? Tell me all you want me to do, and I'll go ahead and do it. Speak to me. Answer me, I want to hear you. All right, I have an idea. Which is? See, it's a dead sky. Yes. Why are we delaying? Why are we delaying? It's done. Baby, what is it? You're not looking bright at all. What is the problem? I have a bad feeling. Bad feeling about what? You know... About your brother. Ibuka? Yes. Okay. What about him? I mean, he's not saying something evil. He he wants to take over everything, you know. He, he, he wants to take control of your father's properties and, of course, his estate. Yes, and he's, he's not saying something evil. I just know that. Why will he think such of my brother? I mean, it's very obvious. I mean, his attitude. You know, the, the way he talks recently, I mean, the words emanating from his mouth, it's very obvious, isn't it? He hates you. He hates you and, and he's up to something. He's up to something. He, I mean, he would do any and everything to take control. I, I know that. My instincts don't fail me. So, what is 
So what are you saying in essence? My love, I'm saying you should be careful. Please be careful. Ibuka wants everything to himself. And you're the only one standing in his way. Demand an explanation now! Young man, I'm talking to you! Explain to me! Why did you do that? Why did I do what? What is your headache in this? Listen, Ebuka. If you think I will sit back and watch you milk this company dry, then you have to think again. This is not the first nor the second report I'm getting. Dad put me in charge. Ebuka, I am in charge! A position I will take back soon. And by that you mean? I mean that you manipulated and wangled your way into my inheritance. And I am out now to correct it. I don't even care whose feather will be ruffled. I'm trying so hard not to take you serious. Ebuka, don't let me take a decision on you. Because if I do, you will regret it for the rest of your life. Tisara, my own decision is coming. And it will hit you so hard. Watch and see. Rubbish! What just happened here? Did Ibuka just do what? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think so. Ibuka, it's high time I took you serious. That's why I called both of you. I believe it's the only way we can save our father's company from whatever evil Ibuka is planning. Do you have anything to say? But Sister Zara, are you sure Ibuka is capable of such evil? Well, his words and action have become too strong for me to ignore. He's made threats upon threats. And knowing Ebuka and how desperate he can be, I decided to act than do nothing. Well, Sister Zara, are you sure this is the best decision we have? Don't we have other options to explore? Like? Any suggestions? Not really. I don't have any. But I think we should give it some time. I don't have any suggestion either. In that case, we'll go with the only option that I have. This is temporary. And you don't have to let Ibuka know what we're planning. Like I said before, the aim is to save our father's company. Do I have your support in this? Yeah. Even though I'm a bit skeptical about this, but you have my support regardless. Me too, big sis. You have my support. Thank you. I'm glad I can count on both of you. Honey, 
Yes. I want you to be part of the company fully. I want to make you the head of account because I want to put a stop to my brother Ebuka taking money from the company at will. Are you sure that's what you want? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. If my dear wife says so, then I am ready. Okay. Yes. Are you also ready to be a father? Are you pregnant? I was having this feeling, so I checked, and it was positive. What? <laughs> oh, baby, yes, yes, yes. I told you it was going to happen. I told you. I told you. Just calm down. Just calm down. But still, I'm going to confess. Really, I mean, like, you know, I miss my encouragement. You know, I was a little scared because you know you had a series of miscarriages. So I thought maybe you know you weren't going to give you know get pregnant again you know but thank Baby, god. how can you say that no i thank god god has been able to put another one yes i i, I know i'll have my babies i mean i love children i know and i am sure that this one has come to stay of course i believe so and uh might be twins twins mm -hmm. just twins only twins I mean, we're talking about maybe three players, maybe quadruple players, maybe sex to players, you know, maybe just keep going on and on and on and on, you know, maybe you can get to like 12, you understand? Keep going, make it 20, because Two. at the end of the day, you're the one that will carry them. Uh, there's nothing there now, I mean, taking care of one baby is equal to taking care of different babies, I mean, it's just the same principle, there's nothing there now. Really? Yes, yes, really. You don't know how difficult it is to carry one baby. And you don't know how difficult it is to put in one baby into a woman. Do uh, you know how packed you should be to be able to, you know, you know, fill up that garage? You understand me? <laughs> Did I just say garage? <laughs> <laughs> you, I'm, I'm not joking Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, Mama Kamsi, you know? Mama Kamsi. Mama Kam Kam. Mama Kam Kam. That's the funny vibe of Mama Kam Kam. <laughs> I like the sound of Mama that. Mama Kam Kam. Funky fried mama. <laughs> I love you, baby. I love, love you. Too. This one is happening. It's happening, I'm sure. I'm sure. So Barrister, I want to give my husband the power of attorney over my late father's properties. So, why will you take such a decision, Tiza? You see, my brother Ibuka, he wants to take over by all means. Yes, and... Um, He's made it clear that uh, he's going to disinherit us. That's if I'm going to be alive. <laughs> he's made threats upon threats, so... <clears throat> really? Yes. You see, I'm the only one stopping him from taking over. So... Knowing how desperate Ibuka can be, he can go to any length. Even if it means taking me out of the way. And you want to give your husband the power of attorney over your late father's properties? Yes, Marista. What is wrong with you? How dare you badge into my office like that? Have you no respect? What nonsense! So, you brought in that your so-called stupid husband into this company, right? You've succeeded in doing that? Do you have a problem with that? Oh. Ah. I see. <laughs> So it's now obvious that you want to privatize everything with that idiot. Okay? Right? That's actually what you wanted to do. But I won't let that happen. Never. Oh. Okay. 
<laughs> Fine. No problem. We'll see to that. But I want you to warn that idiot to stay away from my business. Else, heads we roll. Aha! I see he's doing his job already. Nice one. Bravo. <laughs> What does that mean? It means that he's here to stop you and your accomplices from bankrupting this company. And from the look of things, he's at it already. Hmm. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait! What are, you, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to do, guy? Are you... Hey, hey, shut up! I said shut up! One more word from you. I will forget that I have feelings for you and treat you like an idiot that you want to be. Shut up! And you... So you... Had the guts to bring in someone, a stranger into my company to decide my fate, to decide what I take and what I do not take in this company, right? No, boy. I brought in my dear husband to curtail your excesses. Henceforth, if you need anything, you must go through him. How dare you? <laughs> How I'm done with the meeting. I'm heading to the hospital now. Yes, I have an appointment with the doctor. No, don't wait for me. Once you're done, go home. I'll, uh, I'll see you in the house. All right, take care of yourself. Love you. So please wait. Zara. What is it, Benjamin? I'm a married woman. Married! What is your problem? I know. And you're being too harsh on me, can't you see? Wait, are you stalking me? Uh, no, um, I'm not stalking. I came here to see a sick friend. It is a coincidence that our path crossed. Zara, I miss you. Yes, I miss you. You miss a married... Stay away from me. Stay away. Zara! Zara, please! Zara!
Same thing. Could be what? wrong. Oh God, she, she knows, she knows, she knows. I, I, I can't handle pressure. What's what? going on here? It's Sister Zara. Her phone was on earlier. Now switched off. Yes, um, um, please, um, um, uh, have you by any means spoken with your sister in the last 20 minutes? What sort of dumb question is that? Huh? Let's go inside. Maybe she had a flat battery or something. Let's go inside. She'll be back soon, okay? Maybe Let's go in. But I'm right. right. Maybe we're just worrying ourselves for nothing. Hey, 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 I said go inside. Calm down. I think she'll be back. Just give us some time. Go inside. <laughs> 